Lessons from the summer of COVID are changing access for Colorado's most popular trailheads. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. First, a five-hour closure on I-70 this Saturday put a dent in weekend traffic. Just over 91,000 vehicles passed through both sides of the Eisenhower Tunnel, averaging 34,000 vehicles Friday and Sunday. Traffic fell by 12,000 vehicles Saturday for a reported bomb threat between the tunnels and Silverthorne. Authorities found no threat. Three-day traffic was down 12% compared to last weekend, down 21.5% compared to weekend average from April. Monday morning snowfall caused accidents on I-70 today, including one that closed westbound I-70 at the tunnels. Traffic stopped at Herman Gulch around 9 a.m. for a wreck just west of the tunnels. It reopened around 1045. Traffic is now back up to speed. Mayuary snow won't stop plow crews on Colorado's high mountain passes. CDOT hopes to open Independence Pass from Twin Lakes to Aspen by Memorial Day. Rocky Mountain National Park is opening Trail Ridge Road sometime in June. Snowpack today is 52% of average at Independence Pass, 80% at Fremont Pass, and 105% at Hoosier Pass. The U.S. Forest Service is bracing for another summer of huge crowds with mandatory reservations at its most popular trailheads. Brainerd Lake and Mount Evans, both east of Summit, will require reservations all summer. Record visits last year led to overcrowding and campsite damage. No word yet on any new reservation systems in place here for the Dillon Ranger District. The price tag on your summer DIY projects just got steep. Lumber pricing across the nation is up 250% compared to the same time last year, led by a surge in housing and construction, especially in Colorado. Market research firm Zonda does not expect lumber pricing to fall anytime soon as new homeowners renovate existing homes and builders scramble to meet demand. The latest now on coronavirus and ski season. A Basin confirms chairs will be spinning there through June 6th at least, and Al Hensroth says it's going to feel a lot like the old days. The beach is open again for reservations, and tailgating is now allowed. Face masks are recommended, not required, on chairlifts and in lift lines, and patios have no gathering size limits. At Breckenridge, face masks and other COVID rules will stay in place through closing day, May 31st. 75% of Summit County is partially vaccinated today, 62% fully vaccinated. The hospital is at 32% capacity. In sports, the Rockies lost to the Cardinals yesterday 2 to nothing. Today, the Avalanche faced the Golden Knights at 8. Today's Rockies game with the Padres is postponed for snow at Coors Field, making it up Wednesday with a doubleheader. And in local sports, brought to you by American Family Insurance, the Weiss Agency, Summit High Baseball lost the home opener to Holy Family over the weekend 10 to nothing. Girls Soccer lost to Palisade 7 to nil. Girls Lacrosse lost to Battle Mountain 16 to 2. All Tigers teams have the day off. Tomorrow is opening day for the Vail Whitewater Race Series with kayaks up and two-person raft racing. Get registered before midnight tonight at vailrec.com. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.